Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell That way you never miss out on another video before we get started I want to wish everybody a happy happy new year. This is really exciting We just headed into 2019 and if you guys don't know I do a lot of readings tarot readings on my channel and I just Every reading that I have done so far for all of you guys, all my clients, has been so positive. 2019 looks like it's going to be a beautiful year and I'm so excited. I can't wait. And if you guys are interested in your own readings, you can book one with me. I'll leave the link down below or you guys can tune in every Friday. I have a free reading here on my channel. But anyways, in today's video, it's going to be a Law of Attraction video and I'm going to tell you guys five hacks. Five Law of Attraction hacks for the new year so that you guys can manifest like this. You guys can manifest what you want, your dream job, your career, relationships, happiness, state of mind that you want to be in, like anything and everything you want to attract into your life. I'm going to tell you guys about five hacks that will get you there. Let's jump right in. Hack number one is scripting. So I have an entire video explaining to you guys what scripting is, but just to go through it really quickly, scripting is basically when you sit down and you just write. You just write whatever you want your life to look like, whether it's in the area of relationships, job, um, a vacation you want to take, what your ideal weight is, what you want your body to look like. So I love doing this because... For me, the the art of just writing is so magical in itself. And let me explain a little bit why. So this is my scripting book. So let me just tell you guys a little idea of how I believe it works. So this is a blank page. It's kind of like our life. It's, it's a blank canvas. And when you take a pen and you write something on here, just the fact that it's empty one minute and just a second later you can create something you can write something on here and and there it's it's physical like you just created that you just put something on this blank canvas so just that right there to me is very very magical like it's blank and you can fill it with whatever you want and it to me it symbolizes our life like it's blank it's a blank canvas and we can fill it with whatever we want. You're also just tuning your mind into this vibration, into this frequency where you're just completely focused, you completely lose yourself into what you're writing. Um, and you just keep writing and writing and it's you get lost in it almost like a trance and it's just so beautiful the way that it starts working like the energy start to shift instantly. The, you just create this momentum, you create this shift in your energy and it just builds and builds and the universe will just have no choice but to match that. So when you do scripting, you have to make sure that you write everything down in the present tense. Say you want to have your dream job, everything that makes that job your dream job, you want to write it all down like as if you're already doing it. You want to write what you're going to wear, like get down to details, get lost in it and that's when the magic happens. So this is a beautiful way to manifest and for the new year, I think it's like a new beginning. You can just write whatever you want without 2018's baggage on your shoulders because everything is a new fresh start. Hack number two is to burn bay leaves. So I have here a pack of bay leaves that I got from the grocery store. You you can also get these at the dollar store you can get it on Amazon I'll leave it linked down below but basically I have a video which I will leave linked down below um, of how to use bay leaves to attract and manifest bay leaves are known to make your wishes come true and what you basically do just really quickly is you want to get a bay leaf and you want to get a pen and you want to write down your wish you can write it down however you want to. What I like to do is write my name and my birthday, and then write my wish. Um, most likely in the present tense, as if it's like already happened, and then I will burn this leaf. And let me tell you guys, every wish that I have ever made on a bay leaf and burnt it has come true. Like there's never been anything I have not burned and it didn't come true. It's so crazy, but it works. And I can't tell you guys enough, like, what a beautiful ritual this is because not only does it work but it gives you confidence that you have control over your life um, and you can make these changes in your energies uh, just by burning a bay leaf and another reason that it's really beautiful is because you're writing your wish down you're writing your intention down goal whatever it is and you're just focused on it you're writing it down and then you're burning it 
and releasing it into the universe, releasing it into the ethers. Now, when the universe sees this, it's going to bring it to you closer. Like, the universe sees everything you do, everything you say, everything you feel. And so the act of telling the universe what you want, it's powerful. Hack number three is to create a vision board. Now, the starting of the new year is the perfect time for you to create a vision board. So here's my little vision board that I actually did in my scripting journal, um, but I like to just throw everything in my journal, uh, whether it's scripting, 55 times five method, or my vision boards. And I don't like to just have one. I like to just go crazy. Whatever it is that I want, whatever I want my life to look like, whatever I want to attract into my life, I will cut out pictures and words, whatever, and I'll put it into my journal. And this is one of my vision boards, and this is more like my travel vision board. So it's a really good idea to get a bunch of magazines or print out a bunch of pictures of things and places and situations that you want to attract into your life and just paste it on a piece of paper. Now, it's up to you if you want to keep it somewhere where you can see it every single day or you want to do it in your journal or you want to do like a digital one on Pinterest. Like a lot of people do Pinterest vision boards. Um, but I like to do this. I like to do it physically so that I'm like using my hands and using my mind and like just physically on a blank piece of paper creating this life that I want to live. Um, and I can't even tell you guys the power of a vision board. There is some insane things that have happened to me using a vision board. I'm going to give you guys an example. So I do henna. So I go to weddings and events and I do henna. So before I got started doing the henna, like for clients, I put this image on my vision board and it was a bridal, very detailed, beautiful henna piece on both the bridal hands. And I pasted that onto my vision board. I put that vision board next to my bed where I saw it every single day before I went to sleep, right when I woke up, like it was always there. Like even when I wasn't looking at it, I feel like subconsciously I was. <laughs> Just a few months later, I was asked to do henna professionally for the first time, like, like it was my big, it was a big wedding and I think it was four or five sisters uh, plus their mom and they wanted me to do their henna. So one of the sisters was the bride and so I did her henna. It was a beautiful design. Um, I was so excited. It went beautiful. Everything went amazing. Everybody loved their henna. So after I do the henna, I like to take pictures of my work so that I can put it in my own album. Um, and so when I was going through the pictures that I took, the the exact same henna design that I did on the bride was the exact same henna design in that picture that I posted on my vision board. Like, of all the millions of henna pictures out there, she brought me that exact same picture. And she said, I want this. That to me was insane. It was the starting of this like side career that I have where I can make extra cash and also be creative and do something that I love. And it just started with pasting a picture of what I want on a vision board and the universe brought it to me. So this has happened to me a few times, but I wanted to give you an example of the tiniest, tiniest things that you put on your vision board can come to you. So don't like hesitate to put the tiniest things from the biggest things. Like if you want to manifest a certain kind of crystal into your life, put that crystal on your vision board, write the name of the crystal, how big you want it, and just everything, just go in detail. If you're putting your mind into this vibration of, okay, this is what I want my year to look like, this is what I want to manifest this year, this is my five month goal, this is my two week goal, like whatever it is, you, you just, you're kind of organizing your thoughts, you're organizing what you want your life to look like, and you're also releasing it all into the universe. You can get so creative with your vision board. You can use stickers, you can use colored pencils, colored markers, you can draw on it, you can get magazines and cut out pictures, you can print out pictures, like whatever. You can get so creative with it, and it's really, really fun. Hack number four is to write a letter to yourself from the future. So let me explain. So this is like your future self writing a letter to your present self. So what you are going to do is you're going to put yourself into the life that you want. You're going to imagine that you already have that life, you already have that relationship, you already have that job, you already have that house. You're going to imagine yourself as the person who has it. You're going to imagine yourself already manifested everything you wanted. And that's when you're going to write a letter 
to your past self, which is who you are right now. And you're going to write anything and everything you want to. How you healed your heart from whatever trauma or past heartache. How you're in such a good mental state. How you love your brand new house. How you love your big backyard. How you love uh, having your own kitchen. How you love your beautiful cozy bedroom. How you love the way that your partner treats you. How you love your car and it runs so smoothly it makes your life so much easier how you love going to your dream job every single day write anything and everything that you can think of and write it in a way where you've already manifested it to yourself and you're just writing a letter to your past self for me it would be like dear shito i dear shito there's so many times that you thought you wouldn't make it you thought that you couldn't have this life but look at look at me now like look we did it we we did it we made it this puts you into a very very strong vibration of where you want to be as if you're already there and this is very powerful like this is what the secret and the law of attraction is all about you're gonna start to get excited and that excitement being born inside of you it's so powerful um, and you're gonna just start to attract even the smallest things like you'll just be thinking about god I feel like eating macaroni and cheese tonight and somebody will just bring it to you randomly that's what happens when you do things like this and you get that excitement inside of you um, you just start to manifest like anything and everything that you want when you're doing this when you're writing a letter to yourself um, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind in a way like all the beliefs that you had like beliefs that no I can't make it no that's not for me no I'll never get there no I'll never have that job no I'll never be able to make that much money all these beliefs that are inside of you these are blocks and these are preventing you from getting to where you want to be now when you write a letter to yourself from already being there from already having those things these beliefs start to shatter these beliefs that are blocks in your pathway they just start to fade and dissolve and disappear. Um, so it's it's a very beautiful healing technique as well as a manifestation practice. And hack number five is to declutter. This is a big one. So declutter your mind, declutter your clothes, declutter your home, your purse, your wallet, your car. Anything and everything that there is like stuff there that you don't need or you just don't use anymore, get rid of it what you're doing is you're creating space for new things to arrive so say you want a brand new wardrobe like where are you gonna put your new clothes if you still have all your old clothes cluttered in your closet you want to make the room in your closet first and then you never know how the universe can bring you a brand new wardrobe what if like you go to a store that you love and like somehow everything is 50% off like you just never know what can happen and you want to be prepared for that opportunity to come to you and you want to make way and you want to make room for the opportunity to come to you when you do declutter your closet when you're trying to attract new clothes you're telling the universe like i'm ready it's your job now to match the vibration i'm in i'm i'm in this vibration where i'm cleaning this shit out like i'm ready for brand new and so it's like it's like a communication that you it's like a communication that you have with the universe like hey I'm doing this now it's your turn to bring me this so say if you want to attract a relationship um, you want to start to sleep on one side of the bed only because you want your partner to sleep on the other side you want to start making room in your closet like do things like that okay so these are five manifestation hacks that you guys can start right now like as soon as the new year hit this is the first day of the new year it's perfect to start all of these techniques you can mix and match you can do whatever one you, you feel is meant for you you could do whichever one that is easier for you um, or you could do all of them I do all of them personally and I just see a ton of changes in my life I have not been in the best state of mind lately just because I there's so much going on um, and it's just been hectic and chaotic and so many changes have been going on in my life that it's hard to process um, and so I've been taking my time to kind of go through all of these new changes in my life and I feel like these five things for me to sit down and do a video telling you guys about these five hacks is almost like me reminding myself of these five hacks so I'm really excited to just sit down and do this I'm really really excited to uh, have a boyfriend that really supports me and really likes doing these kinds of things too so it's really fun for me to sit down with him 
and do this together like and make it fun like if you guys have a partner or sister or brother or best friend or whatever your mom dad sit down with them pour yourself some hot chocolate a glass of wine um, play some music like get into a high vibration and have fun with it have a little party like have a little manifestation party <laughs> it's, it's really really fun and it's beautiful and it works it's very powerful i hope you guys have an amazing new year if you guys want to subscribe i would love to have you guys a part of my youtube community we have a lot of fun here we talk about how to make your life beautiful how to manifest everything and anything you want and also natural ways to take care of your hair skin nails and your face all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye